2021, what a year. When I first dipped my toes into storm chasing in 2020, I had no idea it would go this far. In years past, I used to only be able to watch thunderstorms from my backyard. In 2021, I chased storms from the jungles of Dixie all the way to the mountains of Colorado. This would be the first time I had ever left home on my own to seek out adventure and chase a long-held dream of mine. These are the best storms of 2021. Oh wow. In February, I observed some classic supercell storms in Florida. However, it wouldn't be until March that I would score my first major success of the year. Alabama, March 17th. A 45% tornado risk targets Dixie Alley for the first time since the 2011 super outbreak. On the outskirts of Tuscaloosa, I would encounter my first tornado of the year. Where is it at? I know you're here. Thankfully for the people of Alabama, the environment failed to be as volatile as the models were suggesting. A bullet had been dodged. Despite seeing my first official tornado in Alabama, I still found myself wanting to see a photogenic tornado. Thankfully, I wouldn't have to wait long for that to happen. more dust swirling underneath the base right there. I think it's getting out to produce another tornado or that is one right now in progress.
that might be a tornado trying to form right there. In fact, I think it is actually. Oh yeah, I can see. Whoa, I can see swirling dust at the ground. That's a tornado. Large gust NATO in progress, or at least I think it's a gust NATO. This day absolutely blew me away. I had dreamed of being in this moment since I was a little kid, and here I was, I had made it happen. Luckily for me, this was only the beginning. Less than 20 miles from where I saw a tornado the day before, I would again see a photogenic tornado near Akron, Colorado. I can see a lot of rotation on the right side and it looked like a little needle. Keep going or you wanna... Keep going, keep going. Oh my god, this thing is rotating. Oh my god. Just reduce speed and be ready to stop. Oh my god, let's go. I see circulation on the ground. I see circulation on the ground. Yep, that's a confirmed tornado. I'm going to go up a couple blocks. Oh, shit. Oh, we can see a hill. It's about to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just when I thought things couldn't get any better, Colorado treated me to a truly otherworldly display of colors at sunset. The next day, I was once again chasing with my friend Chris in West Central Kansas, and while we did see some supercells and maybe a brief weak tornado, I made a mistake abandoning a storm that looked like it was weakening in favor of some storms initiating to the south, only to see the storm I had abandoned produce a photogenic tornado near Selden, Kansas. Frustrated and exhausted from many days of chasing, I decided to take a much needed break to prepare for what would hopefully be the biggest day of my chase trip and a shot at redemption. Phenomenal structure on this elevated supercell. This storm looks really good. It's hard to pass up on this. Guys, this is a significant tornado.
After having an incredible chasecation in the plains, it was now time for me to make the long journey back to Florida. Back home, it was pulse thunderstorm season. Slight risk we float up mostly for wind and we got this beast of a storm behind me. By August 10th, I was having to wrap up my chasing for the summer, as classes were set to resume. However, Florida would deliver me one last show. While I was shooting lightning during a sea breeze collision, I looked to my south and to my surprise, a tornado had developed. This marks the only time I've ever seen a tornado on a non-severe day. As the end of the year approached and winter began, the last thing on my mind were tornadoes. Unfortunately for a lot of people, we would be painfully reminded to never let our guard down. On December 10th, a family of violent tornadoes spawned from one storm would carve a path of destruction more than 250 miles long. One of these tornadoes would travel for more than 165 miles as it obliterated town after town after town in western Kentucky. Two days later, I would survey the damage and check to see if anyone needed help. Vehicles were thrown tremendous distances, towns were obliterated, and homes were leveled to their foundations. In some spots, the tornado became so intense, it scoured the earth, leaving behind cycloidal marks. Claiming 56 lives and injuring hundreds more, this tornado, with estimated peak winds of 190 miles per hour, earned an EF4 rating. Despite this tragedy reshaping the way I think about tornadoes, I'm still going to chase after them every year. 
It's important to remember that only a tiny percentage of them go on to become devastating monsters like this one did. And if there's anything I wanted someone to take away from this video, it's that, like most things in nature, tornadoes are something that need to be respected, but not necessarily feared. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all in 2022.